I feel more here, but I'm surely your butts are getting tired. And uh, not that mine is or anything. <laughs> The blues in, in Texas and in uh, Oklahoma was taking a real interesting turn. People were becoming influenced by the territory jazz bands like uh, Page's Blue Devils and uh, that Count Basie came out of, and then Count Basie's bands with Jimmy Rushing. And they were evolving this very cool style of guitar. Charlie Christian and T-Bone Walker and Lowell Fulson, and one of the guys who was a huge influence on me, uh, Pee Wee Creighton. They were all uh, like Texas and Oklahoma guys. <clears throat> and they began to build this beautiful style of playing uh, blues ballads <clears throat> using more sophisticated chord structures. And what they did, here's the, here's the old five-note blues scale from Africa. Right, that's all it is, five notes. It's a minor pentatonic scale. Put that in the hands of a blues guy from North America and he plays it like this. And uh, with the Texans and the Oklahomans, and most of them wound up living in Southern California because they were smart. But um, <laughs> I grew up in Southern California. It wasn't a paradise for African Americans, but at uh, times there were certainly better than they were in Texas and Oklahoma in the, in the 50s. <clears throat> they began to incorporate more notes, more grace notes into that scale. And so what they would play, they'd play, they'd play ninths like this, they'd play. Which isn't, you know, that, that's not even, they don't even consider that like a note in, in African music, you know. You, you never play the, the fourth note of the scale or, or you, you never play the, the second note again up over the top of the octave, like here. Right, they would go here. And these, these guys were getting pretty cordially smart, you know. <clears throat> so here's one, of, here's one T-Bone's biggest hit. Uh, and I'll show you a little of what he was doing there. You know, he was using chordal runs like this. songs like this. <laughs> 